What is up everybody? I wanna show you guys a quick little brief description of what I bring with me on the trail. Also, I'd be curious to know what you guys bring on the trail, so please do leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys bring on the trail, what kind of tools you bring, whatever. I'd, I'd be curious to know what everybody else brings on their daily commute. A lot of guys that I ran into don't actually bring anything. They don't bring a single tool. Some of them, hell, don't even bring drinks with them. I've removed the toolbox, and I also removed, well, when I did the exhaust, and I'll show you guys real quick. I personally prefer it, man. I think it looks a lot sleeker, a lot better. And then obviously, when you come over to this side, you see that the tag number section is removed because mainly because of the exhaust install but i think it looks better like that it just looks sleeker it looks cleaner but i've removed the toolbox from the bike because it's so so damn compact and small what i take on the trail with me it wouldn't fit anything it wouldn't even fit this this is what i bring with me really simple not a lot of stuff, doesn't really weigh much. First thing, number one, this right here is the bike's OEM manual, and this is my registration and everything. So paperwork for the bike goes right here in this pouch. This backpack is super lightweight. It is also pretty decently water resistant. I've slightly modified it a little bit. This right here is where I put my camel pack tube because obviously this is gonna be facing my chest. So I can run my camel pack directly out of this pocket here, the water hydration pack. Boom, take a sip with my helmet on. And then the only other thing that I bring, if I don't have my camel pack with me, if for some crazy reason I don't bring the camel pack hydration bladder with me, I can bring a couple bottles of water. This is the heaviest thing out of the whole bundle. And this is my Wolfman tool roll. And this is what I typically bring with me on a trail. Flip it open. So what I got in here is I've got some Allen keys, some zip ties, some spare fuses. This is a little wrench that actually fits the spokes. Good to have. I've got a couple sockets. I've got this tool right here is really cool. It's kind of like a specialty tool, but it's really cool. I'm actually going to be showing you guys what this is and how I use it very soon, as soon as a package gets delivered today. You know, sometimes it's really hard to finger the valve stem of the tube in through the hole. Get your fingers in there and everything. A couple spare sockets in there. I've also got this little mini bead breaker. This is actually a, a bead breaker, bead buddy, whatever you want to call it. Super compact, super small, aluminum, super lightweight. Don't even know it's in there. I keep a 12, a half inch, and a 10. These fit pretty much just about everything on the bike. Um, they're mainly for chain adjustment because the 12 will work for the lock nut, the jam nut, and the 10 will work for the bolt that you thread in or out to push the, you bring the tire in, push the tire out. This is for the front axle. So this is great to have. This is probably the heaviest thing in my entire tool pouch. So it's great to have though, because you have to have that for the front tire or else you're not gonna get the front tire off. I've got a pair of super compact, super sharp, awesome snips here. It's great for cutting wires, great for cutting tape, great for cutting zip ties. They kind of fold over, cut the zip tie nice and flat. They're real compact in the tip so you can get them in real tight, small areas. Works great, gotta have them. This is also another thing that I'll typically bring with me, just a pair of multi-tool pliers that I bought. You know, these are great to have. It's a great tool to bring. A little on the heavier side, but it's a great tool to bring. This is a digital tire gauge. This is awesome to have, obviously, as well, because if you're back in the woods and you end up in really bad terrain, really muddy terrain, you gotta lower your PSI, this is a digital gauge. It's great to have. This is my Motion Pro T-Wrench. This thing's awesome. So I've got another socket in there. I've got every socket that you possibly need for the bike. Next thing is just a multi screwdriver. It's got a thin tip, fatter tip, pops out, works as a flat head, same thing both ends. Got to have that. Next thing is my Motion Pro tire spoon and axle nut for the rear tire. This is really all you need. This will crack the axle off, do chain adjustments. This will also work if you got to fix a flat or something. And I do have a bunch of these. So I've got a bunch of packs of these which are tube patches good to carry those at least one patch you know what I mean or one pack of patches they don't weigh anything so yeah tire spoon another mandatory thing for me 
Last but not least is a pair of Klein needle nose pliers. Any needle nose pliers, these just happen to be Klein's. Works great. So other than that though, man, that's literally everything that I carry with me on a daily ride. I take this thing with me every single ride. I don't care if I'm riding five miles up the road on the pavement or I'm riding 50 miles back in the woods, just saying. It's better to have them, play it safe, than to not have them at all. But other than that though, guys, that's it. I just uh, wanted to show you guys what I take with me on a, on a daily literally every ride that I go on and I'm really curious to know what you guys take with you man let me know in the comment section below what you guys take with you on on rides and such I, I really want to hear what you guys take if you guys have any other recommendations of something that I that I should take please do let me know I, I'm open to any ideas it's better to be prepared than to not be prepared go out there and make sure you're prepared when you go ride have what you may need in case if you need something and you'll be golden man that's that's pretty much it so adventure Zach is out guys peace